you glorious people of the world, Chelsea G here, back with Paper Mario. Ugh, excuse me. I've been having a frog in my throat lately. <laughs> Hopefully it's just allergies. Um, so, last time, uh, we got accused for murdering the mayor. Man, I just wanted to leave the city and now I'm stuck in it. But, the only lead we have to go on is Harry Way the mystery novelist that lives in town, and apparently he lives in this house, so let's check it out. There's nobody in here, however. Nobody or nothing. Is there anything mysterious hidden that we can't see? No. Hmm. But there has to be something. Anyways, not in this house. You have any evidence, dude? Uh, you say the same thing. Hmm. Perhaps I need this key. How am I to get it, though? Oh, hello. I'm surprised I'm able to break ice that easily. <laughs> and I really don't want to go swimming in it. <laughs> oh, I bet it's really cold. Gives me the shivers just thinking about it. Alright, dude, I found your key for you. You say anything about it? Uh, nope. I tried to let you know, but you didn't want to answer me. Thanks for finding that key! I would have been in deep trouble if I couldn't get inside. A warehouse indeed. We have some steps. And a spring. Way. I'm coming for you. What in the? Why are you in my fireplace? You found my secret room through the chimney. Ingenious. This must be your writing room. Dude, I've been framed. You're coming with me. I'm Herringway, the novelist. Haven't you heard of me? Well, now I have. What? Mayor Penguin was murdered, and I'm the chief suspect? You must be joking. That's ridiculous. I didn't know such a thing. You're very suspicious, huh? Well, I suppose I would be too. It appears as though I should drop in at the mayor's house. Engage stairs. All right then. Come on, let's go to the mayor's house. After you, evil doer. Aha. You have something to say now? So Herringway was in the house. I peeped in the window, but I never caught even a glimpse of him. I figured he was out. So where was he hiding? Very peculiar. Anyways. After Hemingway, Hemingway, Herringway, which is obviously a play on Hemingway, the novelist.
let's get to the bottom of this case right now. Oh, I guess I have to go in first. Uh-oh. Get different music. Oh, I guess that means I have to move. Uh, you say the same thing. Oh, you again. Have you come up with anything? Hmm? Say, isn't that penguin behind you the mystery novel writer named Herringway? What? Mayor Penguin was clutching a piece of paper that had Herringway written on it. Bah, if that were true, I merced. Nurse, I most certainly would have noticed it. Hmm. He definitely does appear to be holding a piece of paper. Yes, of course. It's a message about his death. With his last breath, the mayor told us who the murderer's identity was. I added the was. <laughs> so, Mr. Herringway, you cold-hearted murderer. It all makes sense now. No wonder your novels are so exciting and suspenseful. You live out your own plots! <laughs> Dear man, do you have any idea how ridiculous you sound? You actually think I would do this to the mayor? He's a great friend of mine. Hmm, yes. Yes, you were good friends. Aha! But that was just a cover, so no one would suspect you of this heinous crime. That's it, isn't it? I've solved this crafty mystery. Oh, come on. Really? You simple, simple penguin. I would never be so predictable. Besides, I'm completely innocent. I've been working in my house on my new novel for weeks. I didn't have the time to sneak over here to kill Mayor Penguin. I'd just like to say that I still think the man with the mustache is the murderer. Hmm. This penguin murder mystery is getting more intriguing all the time. What about the wife? Why isn't she a suspect? Uh oh. Something's happening. Uh. Oh, my aching. Ouch. My husband's returned! He's a ghost! Eek! Oh, good gracious. Hello, everyone. What's going on here? What? Mayor? We thought you were dead. Our backroom murder mystery is a wash. What a plot twist. Huh? What are you talking about? Um... I think... I seem to remember going to the shelf to get this souvenir for Herringway. Oh, yes, of course. I reached up, slipped, and then whacked my head on the floor. Yes, that's what happened. Here you are, Herringway. This is what I was reaching for. Toe Town was great fun. 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 So many interesting sights. Wish you could have been there. Sometime after all this hubbub settles down, I'll give you a full account of the big city. Well, uh, thank you, old friend. It's very thoughtful. But, Mayor, here we were thinking that you'd been murdered. The whole city was up in arms. Next time, be more careful. Ah, yes. So sorry. <laughs> I thought it was rather entertaining, actually. Besides, I, I lost my voice for him. Besides, everything's okay now. The mayor's just fine. I must return to my home now. I believe I've just had an idea for the sequel to my new novel. Um, I have the best intentions, but for some reason I always end up causing a ruckus. Hello. Sorry about all that. I must apologize. Say, you're Mario, aren't you? Well, let me welcome you to Shiver City, Jewel of the North. What's the matter? Oh, you want to hike over to Starborn Valley, do you? I see. Of course. I'll tell the gatekeeper to allow you out of the city. You'd better bundle up. What do you have to say for yourself, Missy? Uh, I knew you were innocent the whole time. 
A backroom murder case? Please. How completely silly. That overzealous guard must read too many mystery novels. <laughs> anyway. The next time it'll be you dead. And it won't be a mistake. <laughs> Anyways. And now everybody will be happy-go-lucky. What do you guys say after accusing me? The mayor wasn't murdered. He just whacked his own head on the floor. But that means the man with the mustache wasn't evil after all. The criminal with a box of souvenirs. Oh, and they're gonna go home. Cool. What about you? So you weren't a criminal. Okay. Enough with these guys. It's time to head out of the city. see if I can get to Starborn Valley in this video. We've spent a lot of time in this town, so this video might end up being slightly longer than the other ones. Oh, okay. The mayor said it's okay for you to go on through. Indeed it is. All healed up. Let's go. I know there are some bad guys coming up soon. Maybe in the next stretch. Uh-oh. Maybe not a bad guy after all. But the weird creature that they were talking about. Hey, 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 hey! Brr, brr. I've been waiting for you, Mario! I've been here forever! <laughs> I was getting desperate. I thought I was gonna freeze! This place is freezing, and cold, and nasty, and icy. I hate it! I can't take it anymore! I gotta get out of here. I'm going to beat you up in record time and head back to someplace warm. You ready, Ice Boy? Let's do it! Looks like we might not be getting to Starboard Valley after all. Oh, I've been busy, Mario. I've learned cool techniques. Check this out! Aha! Look at that piece of work. I've been taking a little magic course on the side. And now you're gonna be my final exam. Yeah! I'm gonna win this time! <sighs> okay. Let's try it. Let's just blow you up. Ah, nice. Mario, do you like magic tricks? You won't like this one! Haha, <laughs> that felt fantastic! I just keep on getting better. So, let's try hammer time. Magic tags are always so hard for me to damage dodge. Why do you do five and my jump only does four? I guess the hammer has always been more powerful. Which is good because action command has been, you know, horrible this whole playthrough. Yay! <laughs> There we go. Finally. You're dead in record time, Junior Koopa Troopa. Awesome. Final number 24 star points. No! Well, back to healing we go. 
<laughs> okay, we're back. <laughs> By the time you run to get healed, he's like been frozen in a little ice block. I feel kind of bad for him. I didn't mean for him to get frozen like that. Like, this music is real peaceful at first, and like at this point, it's like so kind of eerily creepy. It's really weird. Can I? It's a snowman! No, oh, well. That's what they all say then. Okay, well. Let's keep going, I guess. Ah. Oh, well, that works too, I guess. Aha! It's these Bigfoot creatures. <laughs> With the frost piranha. Oops. Gulp it. I, I don't want any of that. Thank, thank you, I want the frost piranha. I didn't even know I could hit the rock. That's pretty cool. So that was a nice murder mystery. Cool. Ugh. You do a lot of damage. Oh, I think it depends on the rock size. I see. I see indeed. Blow up all the baddies. Ugh. Almost dead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is always fun. Twelve star points! At least I'm getting more star points now. A fire flower! Oh! Wait! I threw out the wrong thing. Let's go! Move, Mario! I didn't pay 30 bucks to get rid of it! <laughs> On. Phew, just piranha plants. I am totally fine with that. Yes, happy heart me up. This video will be slightly longer for you guys, but it'll end on a, a Friday, so you'll have a nice long video to tie you over for the weekend. I don't think it. Oh man. I don't think it's too much longer before we get to Star Wars Valley, however. We will have to save what we need to talk to people until the next week's video. But we've had lots of talk these past couple videos, so I'm sure you guys won't mind. Fun in the now! More star points! I see you, piece of mail. The Merlot. Speaking of which, we have a piece of mail that goes to Frosty, also in Starborn Valley. Whoa! Uh oh. Whoa. Oh. Turn back! Come no further! Turn away or I'll eat you! What do you think? Scary monster, aren't I? You know you want to run. Nah, nah I'll fight you. What? You will regret this! 
Uh oh, we're gonna fight this. Scary monster. The monster. There is some eyebrow wiggling going on there. Ugh. Let's get Bo out. Fine with you, smack it up, monster. What are you gonna do? Oh wow. Hmm. Are you scared yet? That was actually really pretty. More than it being scary. Finding the now 14 star points. No, run away. Oh, cute little star kids. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to bust y'all up. That means we must be getting close then. Aha! Uh -huh. Oh, we're talking. <laughs> ah, you're Mario, yes? Thank you for coming. How do you do? I'm called Merly. I care for the star kids born here in Starborn Valley. There are many things I must tell you, but not here. Come, let's go to my house. I cannot concentrate out here in the cold. This way. Please follow me. Well, I'll have to... Are you waiting for me to follow you? I don't have time. I must apologize for the rude reception of my star kids. None of us expected that you'd come here so quickly. They frightened strangers to try to keep this valley safe from Bowser's followers. Please, you must forgive them. Come in, please. Well, guess we're talking as well. <laughs> oh well. <clears throat> now, Mario, you must heed well what I'm about to tell you. This frozen area is called Starborn Valley. It is named this because it is here that stars are born and raised before rising to the sky. But now, ever since Bowser stole the Star Rod from Star Haven, the power of that place has weakened, and star kids have found themselves unable to rise up into the sky. I sent a ninji to my father, Merlin, hoping that I could coax you to come here. Because I have found out where the last star spirit is. It came to me in a dream, a vision of the last star spirit begging me for help. If my vision speaks truly, then the last star spirit is being held atop Sugar Mountain which lies to the north. Up top sits the Crystal Palace. The Star Spirit waits there. The Crystal Palace... Obviously been too much talking this <laughs> video. <laughs> the Crystal Palace was originally built to honor the stars. But as time passed, it slowly faded from the memories of local people. And now, no one can remember how to reach the palace. There is a way, though and it involves items that have been passed down in these lands. Here, take this. I got a pretty warm scarf. <laughs> this scarf has been passed down through many generations in Starborn Valley. I wish I knew how to use it, but I do not. According to the legends, you must use this and another item that has been passed down in Shiver City. If you hope to open the way to the Crystal Palace, Sadly, that's all I know. If things remain as they are, Star Kids will never again be able to rise to Star Haven. Such a fate would be awful. Please, help them, and expel Bowser from the sky. Oh boy. Such talking. And, oh, more talking? Oh yes, Mario, I'd almost forgotten. 
There is supposed to be a small shrine somewhere along the path to the Crystal Palace. A legend has been handed down in this valley regarding the shrine's secret. Truth lies not only in the eyes, sometimes even walls may lie. Confusing, yes, but you must find this shrine and solve its mystery to reach the Crystal Palace. Please don't forget it. I'll try not to, but you're standing outside your door for some reason, but we will find all of that out in the next video. Ooh, this one ran quite a bit longer than I expected. Ugh. But I hope you guys enjoyed it all the same, even if it was just a lot of mindless chatter. <laughs> um, still, I hope you guys are enjoying my soft walkthrough of Paper Mario. We're slowly nearing the end, you guys. I'm pretty sure in the next video we'll be on our way to figuring out how to get exactly inside the Crystal Palace, and maybe we'll even make our way there. But until then, um, I hope you guys are enjoying this video. I'm pretty sure I've said that like five times by now. So, um, be sure to like, comment, share, and even subscribe if you haven't already. I will see all of you guys next time. Bye!